IOTA has a lot of applications in mobility and transportation or more specifically maybe in the automotive industry. Uh, one of these applications is over-the-air updates or OTA and um, you know, when you think about it, Tesla really kind of pioneered this uh, over-the-air updates. We are very much used to it from our smartphones and other electronic devices. But it's really the ability to update the software in the vehicle uh, across its life cycle, be it to develop uh, or to deliver a new, uh, new feature, um, be it to update the firmware on, on some of the electronic components, be it to provide a fix to, you know, for example, a, a hack or you know, some people are affected by the diesel scandal, so they need to update uh, control units as part of that. So, so there's a bunch of different um, applications in that context where IOTA uh, can help, and we are engaged with a range of different OEMs and tier ones to, to help uh, address specific issues. First of all, when you think about it, you know, an over-the-air update is not something that just comes out of thin air, right? So there's somebody that creates that content, there's an OEM that needs to kind of approve and review that content, and then you need to kind of figure out how do you update that vehicle. There's a whole process involved, right? And it's multiple entities uh, across content providers, tier ones, OEMs, and of course, ultimately, the consumer who owns that vehicle that are involved in this process. So. Uh, IOTA could provide an immutable distributed ledger to really create an auditable um, you know, record of this entire process. And then once we are ready to actually update the software, you know, one, one issue is really how do you make sure that the software that you, and the data is specifically that you basically send from your clouds down to the vehicle, that it actually arrives um, in the same state, right? So nobody is tampering with the data uh, whilst it is being transferred. Yeah? So we call this data integrity, right? So, so one thing is about how do we establish the trusted connectivity so that the vehicle knows that yes, I can trust this source of data. We know on the other end they're actually vehicles, so that's the whole trusted connectivity and trusted identities part. But then making sure that the data itself that we transfer has high integrity. One interesting problem that IOTA can help solve is when you think about artificial intelligence and machine learning in autonomous vehicles um, and also over-the-air updates, OTA. If you think about it, you know, you collect data using an autonomous vehicle that you then basically use for machine learning in the cloud. And once you then develop these machine learning models, you need to essentially distribute those down into a fleet of vehicles so these vehicles can use that model as part of the in-vehicle artificial intelligence. And as you do that, not only do you want to make sure, of course, that you have trusted connectivity between your cloud and these different vehicles, but also you want to ensure data integrity. So as you think about it, you have this machine learning model that essentially describes how a car should behave in certain driving situations. And now you want to essentially download this model to an individual vehicle. Of course, you want to really be sure that nobody tampers with that data as you transfer it down to the vehicle because that behavior now you know, could be catastrophic if you change the behavior of that model. So IOTA can help not only with the trusted connectivity to make sure that we understand who do we talk to and encrypt, of course, the communication between these different channels, but it can also make sure that the data uh, arrives in that vehicle exactly the way we have sent it down there. Yeah? So that's what we call data integrity, and I think it's going to be a very interesting application for IOTA in the um, automotive industry moving forward.